Six months ago, I watched 50 Division 2 build guide videos to find out what the meta was. With the release of Project Resolve though, everything has changed. So if you want to find out what the new meta is and what the best gear and talent combinations are, stick with me as I enter the matrix to find the five keys to the Division 2 builds. Named items can reveal a lot about what is happening with the meta. Six months ago, Picara's holster, Contractor's gloves and Fox's prayer knee pads appeared in a lot of builds. These are still best in slot pieces for DPS and are good options if you want to buff your build. But are they still the most popular in builds now? Well, the answer is yes and no. Because while the Picaro's holster can be found in even more builds, the other two are much less used. And this gives us the first hint of where the meta has changed, with builds being less focused on pure DPS. The Bakara's holster does give us our first clue, its popularity being due to its two cores, three when used for the right exotic, making it an incredibly versatile piece of gear for nearly any build. But I needed more information, and maybe exotics would be the place to find it. Previously, three exotics absolutely dominated builds. Kite's Mask was the number one, having been a staple of Division 2 DPS builds for a long time, due to the great buffs it provides to the entire team. And St. Elmo's was the only weapon of choice due to its great base stats and situational talent. But now, both of these are as popular as Rocksteady at a DC Comic Con, and they have one thing in common, both are DPS focused. So does that mean that pure DPS builds are out? And what has replaced them? Part of the answer to that is the Ninja Bike Messenger backpack, which now appears in nearly one in three builds. The Memento backpack, which is the second most used exotic armor, or even a brand set with a good talent, will still deliver better damage output. But what the Ninja Bike does do is unlock the changes to the two and three piece brand set bonuses, which Project Resolve introduced, letting agents play the game in different ways. And there is one exotic weapon that is a favourite companion to Ninja by builds, the Capacitor, whose talent can let skill and hybrid builds deal good weapon and skill damage. So the new meta is hybrid or skill builds. Well, no, because I also found that the exotic SMG Ouroboros was a very close runner-up to the Capacitor, so it's clear that DPS builds are not dead yet. The biggest thing that I found though, and what is probably most indicative of the changing meta, is that 40% of builds use no exotic at all as their main weapon, and only one named weapon, the Shield Splinterer, appeared in 1 in 10 builds. Weapon diversity has increased massively since Project Resolve went live, because they buffed the shit out of the underperformed weapons, making most weapons viable for most of the content in the game. With such a wide variety of weapons being used, it should be no surprise that more weapon talents than ever are being used, and that none are rising to the top. There are two though that I'm excited to see being used that I think you should really check out. Future Perfection can be found on the named weapon, Mechanical Animal. It is the talent that lets red core builds also deal great skill damage. These builds typically run six red and two yellow cores, one from the technicians and one from something like the Memento Backpack. The red cores help Mechanical Animal get weapon kills quickly to superpower their skills. Determined is the best sniper build weapon talent for players who want to chain one shot kills. The same goes for the chess piece talent Headhunter or Perfect Headhunter from the chain killer named item, which can now be found in 10% of builds, along with armor pieces like Habsburg, Eroldi and Hotshot, all of which buff headshot and marksman rifle damage. With the huge buffs to marksman rifles from Project Resolve, one shot builds are definitely back in fashion. Another talent combination that you should not miss out on is the chess piece talent Intimidate, along with either Adrenaline Rush or Bloodsucker on the backpack. While Intimidate's damage buff has been reduced, the time it takes to build up is now shorter than the memory span of a US presidential candidate, making these a very strong combination of damage output and survivability. The chess piece talent though that remains the undisputed PvE king is Obliterate. While Unbreakable is still tops for PvP builds, showing that even with all of the new build diversity, there will always be a best in slot. 
Now, bizarrely, despite the rise in popularity of hybrid and sniper builds, there was very little change with specializations. This is probably because they aren't an important part of build creation, often picked only for a very minor tweak to the build. Gunner with its armor on kill, making it popular with DPS and run and gun builds. Technician with its skill tier for hybrid and skill builds. A firewall for its overpowered armor kit, which can be an absolute game changer in PvP. Six months ago, there was one gear set that dominated build creation and was the undisputed meta, Strikers. But with the build diversity that Project Resolve has delivered, well, Strikers is still the most used gear set because for damage output, it is still the best. But there are some contenders to the crown. Hunter's Fury has always been a great run and gun gear set, but with the Buster Health in brand sets and the Ouroboros SMG entering the game, it is now a great option and came in a close second. The most significant thing I found though was that brand sets and their buff two and three piece bonuses are now the most popular choice in builds. And across the 50 build guides I watched, 25 of the 29 brand sets were featured. And in that moment, the answer of what the meta build is came to me. It wasn't a specific weapon, a specific gear set, or an exotic. With the buffs to so many brand sets and weapons, closing the gap on the best in slot of the past, there really isn't a go-to build anymore. It's all about using a build that you like to play, because all of them will do okay. And that is the new meta.